Konnichiwa, Dr. Braces here. Thank you so much again for tuning in. Uh, we are excited to have you today for a pretty fun topic. Why do your teeth feel loose when you have braces or Invisalign? Now, sometimes people's teeth, as you start to move them and straighten things out, they start to feel really loose. And that's actually a normal side effect of orthodontic tooth movement, but it can be a little bit scary when you first feel it. You're like wiggling those bottom teeth. You're like, man, those are, those are moving a lot. I don't know if this is right. So rest assured that in 99% of the cases, that's actually exactly what is supposed to happen. So today we'll explain why that happens, what you're experiencing at a microscopic level, what's going on, and uh, what to expect in terms of how long that looseness is going to last and when you can expect it to happen. So to start out, when you put braces or Invisalign on a tooth, you apply an orthodontic force to that tooth to make it move. And so basically, those teeth that are crowded or crooked or spaced out, they need to move and shift through bone. Now we've kind of talked about that in a previous video, but every tooth has what's called a periodontal ligament. PDL for short, so I'll refer to it as the PDL. So every tooth has a PDL periodontal ligament. And that ligament is what attaches that tooth to the bone. So if this is a tooth and it's sitting there in the bone, there's going to be a ligament that's attaching that tooth to the bone. Now, when we go apply a force to a tooth, let's say you have a tooth that's rotated that needs to turn. Remember, that has to rotate and turn through bone. So as you apply that orthodontic force to that tooth, that tooth is going to compress that periodontal ligament. And so that ligament is now going to stretch and when that ligament stretches out, you're going to feel some mobility in that tooth because it's no longer sitting as tight in that little socket as it normally would. What happens microscopically at that point, again, we've talked about this in a previous video, but what happens at that point is um, the, the ligament is going to send signals to the, to the bone and these cells are going to come in called osteoclasts. Those osteoclasts are now going to break that bone down so that tooth can move into that new position. Once that tooth move, moves into that new position, on the backside of the tooth, the osteoblast or bone building cells have to come in and rebuild that bone back up. So during that time where the tooth has now shifted into a new position, there's, there's actually some, some more space here, right? So the teeth are going to be a little bit more mobile because they're not sitting tight in the bone. So how much mobility is normal? On the lower incisors, those are the smallest teeth and the smallest rooted teeth, you can see almost up to one millimeter of mobility, which is pretty significant. Now that mobility is going to happen early on in the braces when the tooth movement is the most significant or severe. In other words, when you first start your braces or Invisalign, the, the majority of movements that need to happen, happen early on. And so when you're doing those more, uh, more significant tooth movements, that's when you're going to get more mobility. But again, rest assured, that is a normal biological response. Uh, it's not anything that you should be super concerned about. If you feel like the teeth are like really, really loose, that's something you maybe wanna have the orthodontist check. But some minor mobility, totally normal with braces, totally normal with Invisalign. Now, as you go through the process, once that tooth moves, once it shifts into that new position, once that bone is built back up, guess what? Those teeth start to tighten up and the mobility will, will slowly start to decline. Usually after you put braces on, you can expect some, some pretty significant mobility, especially in the lower incisor area for about two weeks. After that two week point, that mobility is going to start to calm down. Now, when you go to your next abrasives adjustment appointment, what's going to happen is they're going to put new forces on those teeth. That mobility may return, but it may not be as significant or severe as it was on your initial appointment. So that's kind of how that, that works. And that's why you can expect that mobility and, and rest assured that that's kind of like a, a normal process when it comes to uh, braces or Invisalign. So what's happening there in that situation? That's what we call an inflammatory response. We're intentionally creating inflammation in areas to remodel the bone. Other times we can get inflammation is when we don't take good care of our teeth. And so if we're not brushing our teeth, if we're not flossing, if we're not water picking and keeping our gums clean and healthy, guess what? Those gums will also get inflamed. And so we don't want what's called an uncontrolled inflammatory response. And what that is, is when, again, you're not keeping those areas clean, bacteria are then going in and infecting the gums and causing what's called gingivitis. When the gums get really big, really puffy, that's a sign that we're getting inflammation there that we don't actually want. 
So when we have those kind of situations, when we have big puffy gums, teeth aren't clean and healthy, guess what? That inflammation is actually going to slow your tooth movements down because the inflammation isn't ha occurring at the right spots at that point. So that's why going to uh, making sure that you're brushing as much as you possibly can. We tell our patients to brush four to five times every day, flossing every day, and going to get your six months cleanings with your dentist is so important during the braces uh, process because if you're not keeping those areas clean and you're getting inflammation um, that we don't want or we're not controlling, that's going to A, slow things down, but, but B, that's also bad for your teeth. So keep that in mind when it comes to tooth mobility. We, we want that mobility to occur, but we want it to be controlled. If it's happening because the, the hygiene isn't good, that's something that we need to address and we need to make sure that we stay on top of. Another time when you may get some mobility in your teeth is when the braces or Invisalign first ends. Now keep in mind, as we're going through the orthodontic process, we are constantly moving teeth, compressing the periodontal ligaments, remodeling bone, and having it re, uh, reshape and reform. So those are all processes that are going on during braces. So all these ligaments, these PDLs, are, are stretched by the time we finish that orthodontic process, by the time the braces are done. Everything's stretched out. And so when we first take the braces off, occasionally I'll have patients tell me that they feel like their teeth are loose. And that's, again, totally normal when it comes to braces when it comes to Invisalign. So what you need to do, this is the time where the retainers are super critical, super important. So I tell my patients those first two to six months after the Invisalign or braces stops is extremely important because that's when your periodontal ligaments are the most stretched. That's when they want to compress and go back to exactly how they were before you started treatment. And so the time for relapse is much faster, much more rapid when you first take the braces off. So retainers, retention, that's incredibly important right after braces come off. You may feel some mobility. And I even have patients tell me sometimes that they get in, that they have some tooth pain after we take the braces off. It's kind of rare, but, but the reason why is again, those, those, that remodeling of the periodontal ligaments is occurring at that time and so you have to be able to just keep it stable so as long as teeth are wanting to move and shift you're going to have some pain and discomfort but again um, the mobility part of that is normal make sure you're where your retainers right after the braces or invisalign come off because again everything is is wants to move and shift at that time there are situations where that tooth mobility is more than we actually want or it's actually problematic. It's very rare in my cases because I do not like to start an orthodontic case until I know that A, the patient has seen their dentist within the last three months and B, that dentist has cleared them for orthodontic treatment. But in a condition, we kind of talked about how gingivitis is inflammation of the gums. If that gingivitis spreads to the bone or the, the part of the bone that supports the tooth, that's what we call periodontal disease. Now, if you're orthodontically moving a tooth that is having periodontal disease, that's something that can get worse or get exacerbated by that orthodontic tooth movement. So if you start to see pretty severe mobility, sometimes that's in correlation with an active periodontal disease. We wanna stop orthodontic treatment immediately in those situations. But again, as long as you're seeing your orthodontist for your routine visits, you're seeing your dentist for your routine six month cleanings, they're gonna be on top of that situation and some minor mobility is something that you can expect. But uh, again, we wanna make sure that in those, in those very rare cases where it is actually associated with periodontal disease, that we don't continue the orthodontics, that we pause until that, that periodontal disease can get resolved. Because what will happen is the bone will start to resorb. That's literally the definition of periodontal disease is the bone, you're losing bone support around your teeth. So if you're making that bone, that bone resorb more and more and more and more and more, and that's why those teeth are getting mobile, that's when it's a major problem. So that was one of the issues with, that I had with those um, direct to home, direct to consumer aligners like Smile Direct Club. They would have the patient sign a waiver that said, I have seen a dentist within the last six months, but all the patient had to do was sign the waiver. They never actually confirmed that with the dentist. And so you'd have patients that were coming in that were having severe periodontal disease and trying to align and move their teeth. And the biggest complaint was, I have this big gap between my front teeth. When I wear my aligners, the gap is closed, but when I take my aligners off, it opens back up. What that basically means is that tooth doesn't have any bone support. And that's why the teeth are moving so much when the aligners are on and so much when they're off. And so that's a situation where 
where you don't want to be moving teeth orthodontically. So um, that was one of my critiques of Smile Direct Club because they weren't doing the, the due diligence. They were having the patient sign the form to cover themselves, but it wasn't an actual like, let's, let's confirm that these teeth are healthy enough to be moved orthodontically. And so again, very important that the periodontal condition is under control prior to starting orthodontics. Um, so to summarize, mild tooth mobility after you get your braces, after you start your Invisalign, and after you get your teeth, your uh, braces adjusted is normal. Uh, any severe mobility, you wanna have your orthodontist check that out to make sure it's not a periodontal condition. But mild mobility, totally normal process as part of the, the tooth movement, uh, at, part of the process of moving teeth orthodontically. So nothing to be super concerned about and it actually should be expected. Oh, the other thing, the other two things we touched on. Hygiene, oral hygiene with orthodontics, incredibly important because we don't want that inflammatory response to be uncontrolled. And finally, once the braces or Invisalign are finished, make sure you wear your retainers religiously as your orthodontist instructs. Otherwise, you may end up with uh, you know, major relapse once the braces come off. So those are all super important things to consider. We made another video about retainers. If you're interested in what kind of retainers are out there, what's best for you and why it's important, you can click on the link, the link below. Finally, as we always end, remember, smiles change lives, so keep smiling.